A rookie last season that really flew under the radar was Houston Rockets forward Tari Eason. Now it's very unlikely that he turns into anything more than a quality rotation player, but I think the things he does well will make a huge impact going forward. For one, Eason has elite anticipation and instincts on the defensive end. He led all rookies in deflections with 161 of them. It's important to mention that he played in all 82 games. So a better number to emphasize is that he averaged 3.3 deflections per 36 minutes, which ranked number one among rookies that played in at least 40 games. As these clips highlight, Eason's awareness off the ball is quite extraordinary. He reads plays extremely well, and then sometimes you'll see him wrestling the ball away from opponents. If there's a scramble for the ball, it's likely that Eason will be the one to come up with it. This is quite an amazing stat. As a rookie, Eason led all players in total loose balls recovered, with 72 of them. Now again, he played in all 82 games, but his per 36 minute average was 1.5, which still ranked number one among qualified players. His hands are always active, which makes him exceptional at stripping the ball away from sloppy ball handlers or telegraphing ill-advised passes. He's a guy that will dive out of bounds to save a ball or chase it down following a jump ball. Here's some more footage that shows him giving all-out hustle. He also shows promise as an on-ball defender. I'm not sure he'll ever be one of those physical defenders that takes hits to the chest or rocks opponents off balance with physicality, but he moves his feet well, and again, that high-level anticipation helps him forecast opponent directions as these clips accentuate. This play, for example, against Ja Morant, he shifts his body so well to stay in front. Offensively, many of his made baskets came in transition, including some off his own steals and deflections. Nearly 23% of his scoring frequency came in transition, but he only shot 51% in these situations, which is below average. His ball handling is not great, and he can get reckless sometimes. Many of his dunks though came on the break. He finished with 64 dunks, fifth most among rookies. But at the end of the day, Eason is likely going to fall into the 3 and D category, and his success and longevity in the league will hinge on how well he shoots it from three point range off the catch. And what we saw in year one was good enough results to believe he won't be a liability on the offensive end. On 1.9 catch and shoot three point attempts per contest, he shot a shade under 36%. That's certainly not spectacular, but it's an acceptable mark. He made 37% of his above the break catch and shoot threes and 35.4% of his corner catch and shoot threes. Another important off the ball element to his game is his cutting. He's just a very active player that can tire out his defenders and be very sneaky. He's an exceptionally good offensive rebounder as well. He averaged 2.4 offensive rebounds per contest and made 31 putbacks according to second spectrum.
To get an idea of what perhaps Eason can be offensively if he puts it all together, I went and looked at one of his best performances of his rookie season, which was on March 20th against the Golden State Warriors when he posted 21 points, 12 rebounds, and 4 steals. There was a good variety in his offensive package in this game. His tenacious defense led to some of that offense, as you can see here. He was electric in transition as well. He also made some nice baseline cuts. I thought this one drive in which he avoided the travel, pivoting into the layup was impressive. He also made a catch and shoot three pointer. Now reviewing a game in which he didn't shoot the ball well, we see some of his flaws pop out. Against the Los Angeles Lakers on April 2nd, in which he made just 4 of his 14 shot attempts, we see for example him miss a floater, a cut layup, a layup in transition, and some catch and shoot threes. As far as players he resembles on the court, I'd say the pie in the sky comp for Eason is Andre Iguodala. Iguodala was one of the best all time at deflecting and telegraphing passes. His eyes were always everywhere on defense and he made so many heads up reads that led to easy transition buckets. Another comp for him I would say is Trevor Ariza who was great at those same things. Ariza ranked near the top in deflections a few straight years with the Rockets, in fact. A current player he draws similarities to is Patrick Williams. Williams, I would say, is one of the best 3 and D guys right now in the league, but has a little more in his offensive arsenal than the average 3 and D specialist. I see some James Johnson in Easton as well. Johnson has always played with tremendous defensive intensity and has been throughout his career doing all the things that don't necessarily show up in the box score. Just some general stats on Eason from the 22-23 season. Over 82 games, he averaged 9.3 points, 6.0 rebounds, 1.1 assists, 1.2 steals, and 0.6 blocks, shooting 44.8% from the field overall and 34.3% from three-point range. He scored 20 plus points four times and in double figures 32 times. He also had 10 double digit rebounding games, including on New Year's Eve against the New York Knicks when he pulled down 13 boards. The most number of steals he collected in one game was five on November 9th against the Toronto Raptors. So that'll wrap up this video. If you like this kind of content, please subscribe.